from midfoot to toe base, it's just fly knit. It is a little roomy. I'm a narrow footer on the toe box area, which I like my shoes to fit a little bit more snug. So if you are a little wide foot, it might work for you. If you're a narrow foot, um, you might want to try it on if possible because it is a little roomy up front. What's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Westing Wednesdays where we get straight to the point. This could be a good affordable running shoe for the beginners that are looking to get things started. With the traction pattern, they went with the waffle uh, traction pattern, which is not stereotypical for running shoes in my opinion. You see a lot of different traction patterns on multiple other Nike running shoes, but they went with the waffle style. I'm not mad at it. It does a really good job. Um, they went with the black outsole on this, which is going to be nice since, you know, obviously any other color, it's going to get dirtier or easier. But the traction pattern, the way that they have this thing situated, you have it broke in the middle where, where the phone would go, but you have a nice little rocker set up with the, the traction pattern from toe to heel. As you can see in the heel, it's really curved. That way, when you are running, there's a nice transition. So that's a cool little aspect to this shoe that they added. Uh, and because there is a break in between the traction pattern, it kind of lightens up the load. This shoe is very, very light overall. So moving on up to the, the foam midsole. It doesn't say exactly what type of foam it is. It's an NVA foam, lightweight, pretty cushion. Like I said, it is lightweight. So when it is underfoot, you can feel it. You can see the compression, a nice light cushion run, depending on whatever distance you guys are looking to travel. Now, there is a thicker cushion setup right underneath the heel for impact protection and they also provided a little bit of a, what basketball players would call an outrigger on basketball shoes that provides a larger base underfoot for foot stability so when you're running in these type of running shoes especially because it is a knit there's less stability uh, which increases the chance of you rolling an ankle so they try to help with that by providing a little bit larger foot base uh, with the, the, the foam midsole, which I do like. Uh, it does add a little bit of wide base, so it makes the, the shoe feel or at least look a little clunky uh, when it is on foot, but I do like that aspect when it comes to uh, the safety for your ankles when you're running. Now, as we move on up, I did mention it is a knit. It's fly knit upper from top to bottom. As you get towards the heel and the collar area, they added a little bit of a foam and a little bit more reinforced area, once again, for stability and just safety issues for the ankle. Now they did add some synthetic wear areas around the toe bit, uh, box to just provide, because it is knit, you don't want it to rip when you're running. Um, you can barely see it, uh, which is cool. The color, it's white and it adds like a, the, the base layer or underneath the actual fly knit is like a gray. So uh, when you get it close, it does add a little bit of that gray to it, but predominantly white and they add the neon uh, Nike logo on the lateral side uh, with just hints of stitching uh, and then other lettering areas of that neon bolt green which really pops. Uh, one of the reasons why I kind of scooped this shoe up is because of that colorway. They have multiple colorways of this sh particular shoe but I like this one in my opinion. Now the laces and in the actual uh, tongue. The tongue's not attached to the midfoot or anything. It's a free-flowing tongue, just very, very minimal. Uh, the sustainable logo on there with the Nike Interact Run on the, the, the tongue. Just basic laces. Just, you know, basic stuff for a minimal running shoe. This shoe does come in at $85, which is very affordable when you consider running shoes of upwards to 250 bucks. So I also scoop these things up at like 60 something bucks on uh, a sale for Thanksgiving, which was really cool. Now the shoe, as far as length fits true to size, like I said, it is a little roomy, but shoe, like I said, interact run, it's nice. Uh, I wanted to scoop it up because it is affordable. Definitely check it out. Look it at nike.com, uh, multiple colorways. I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoe review, I'm out. Peace.